Hey all, it's Nim or Nimicree if you're feeling professional, and welcome to the YouTube video. Now today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Warzone, and how finally, you can have duos. If I was your best friend. In an article by Andy Chalk, the two-person team-up went live today. Now, 17 hours ago, so depending on when you see this, maybe it was yesterday, maybe a little, a little later than that. Earlier this month, Raven Software creative director Amos Hodge said that Duo's mode would come to the Call of Duty Warzone Battle Royale eventually, after developers find the right timing and everything else. Right. Apparently they found it, because Activision announced that Paired Up mode is available in the game now. Warzone Duo's works the same as Trio's and Foro's. Really, you couldn't call it Quads? I guess, if you're trying to go for stuff... I don't know, no, okay. Duo, trio, quad. Foursome if you want to play Word Blue, but with fewer opportunities to recover if and when things go sideways. That reduced backup puts increased pressure on players to pull their weight across a wider variety of situations. Duos is quite possibly the ultimate test of friendship and teamwork with only one other teammate to rely on. You'll have to coordinate your fellow strategies and make good call-outs, most importantly hit your shots. If your fellow operator's life is at stake, Activision wrote. Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense. I, it's a pretty pretty thing. Instead of three people, there's two. So there's going to be less shots, and it's going to be a tighter margin of error. Yeah, okay. I, I have nothing to disagree with there. Then, of course, we have a screenshot. Having only two operators per squad also creates a potential meta shift, as you may need to consolidate multiple roles onto one operator using the overkill perk. Assault rifle sniper builds are great. But neither of you has the answer for vehicles or close-range battle with a shotgun. You may be in trouble. The announcement shares a pentology of hints for duo success, most of which are pretty obvious. Communicate, work together, shoot straight, that sort of thing. But the number one hint has a real competitive edge to it that I like. If your partner sucks, cut them loose. Apparently, even in duos, it's everyone for themselves. So, that last announcement seems like it would be friendly fire. Now... Again, you're telling me this is the ultimate test of friendship and teamwork. If I'm like, hey, friend, you suck. <laughs> That's, you know, you, you, they're going to be like, hey, man, Nim, what, what the hell, man? Also, you were the one who got shot. Realistically, if I was playing. Because I'm not really good at the, the Battle Royales. The important thing here that we have is we can see that Activision is trying to, I don't know, increase the appeal of Warzone. Things that I would do to maybe increase the appeal is I would try to cut down on the cheaters. Uh, because apparently that is still incredibly rampant. I know my neighbor plays, and he was telling me the other day how there was some somebody was hacking, and his name was, if you report me, you die. And he reported him, and boom, instantly, you know, he, he, kept, he kept getting hit, he kept getting followed around. So that was something there. I think they should do what Titanfall 2 did, and put cheaters into their own lobbies, and have aimbots fight each other, because... Hey, that seems to be the best answer. It's like, who's got the better cheat software and let legitimate players play with each other? I don't know. That's, that's something you'll have to think about. Also, what I would think is, why, why didn't this launch like this? So, there's been a spate in gaming recently where feature, it will, we'll call it the roadmap phenomenon. Now, I know people have done roadmaps, people have talked about roadmaps. We're not actually talking about the roadmap. Here we see an example of a roadmap, some of which has been implemented, some of which has not. We're talking about why these features aren't in the game at launch. So you're telling me that Warzone, which is a battle royale, ostensibly a bunch of people in an arena, bang bang, bang bang, you shot me down, bang bang, you hit the ground, bang bang, and then you win, somebody wins, I had sad side, I think, and then there's cake or chicken or, or something, I'm not really a big VR person. But here's the thing. Why? You can do a solo. Okay, great. And then you can do trios. Cool. And you can do foursomes, or four O's as they call it. Why, why did you not launch with duos? Why, why would you skip that out? Why, why wouldn't you have it? Because are you thinking that everybody's going to play together all the time? People don't have other things to play? After all, the Battle Royale genre is a pretty contested market. You've got Fortnite, you've got Warzone, I'm sure there's Realm Royale somewhere in there, PUBG, if people still play that. I mean, I mean there's, there's a lot of things. 
So if you have to migrate a whole team constantly to another game, odds are there's going to be some losses. So I don't know why you wouldn't have that. Also, what if you're like me? What if you have one best friend in real life who might be like, all right, Nim, let's play a game. Da -da 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 -da, and, and we get in there. It took till now to launch. I don't know. I forget how long Warzone has been out. I could probably look it up. We'll throw it up on the screen. But it seems like it was an oversight. Same thing I still remember with Epic Games. Epic Games didn't have a shopping cart for the longest time. You had to buy individual purchases. A shopping cart. I don't know. I don't know why these games are launching. Not even, I won't even say without feature completeness. I mean, these are basic features. I can go online right now and set up a PayPal plugin shopping cart into a website if I wanted to set it up. It, it's not hard. I can say, I can, there's, it's, it's canned software. Anyways, this has been me rambling for a while about Call of Duty. Honestly, I am excited about Warzone duos and a little meta commentary on why are we, why are games being launched without basic features? As we can see, of course, the advertisement Fantasy Star Online 2 is also a great a great example of that with Microsoft uh, not, uh, really botching that. Anyways, of course, my name was Nim or Nimacree if you're feeling professional. If you enjoyed the video, remember I stream on Twitch Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday and Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There'll be something on the screen. If you like the video, comment, subscribe, do all that other stuff, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.